Santa's talk. All right, well, I was going to offer the kids a choice because I was thinking, you know, they could have a choice of, where is it here? Oh, would you like a chocolate chip cookie? Or would you like a chocolate chip cookie? <laughs> so we've got vanilla, and we've got flour, and we've got salt and baking soda, and we've got brown sugar, and white sugar, and butter, and chocolate chips. Now which one do you think you'd rather eat? <laughs> All of this, and just kind of munch it in your mouth, and, just, and then of course it's cold. Or do you want to have one of these? Well, it kind of got me thinking about you know, creation. Now here we live in a world that some people believe that if you took all of this and you shook it all together and you waited about a billion years, you get a chocolate chip cookie. A long wait for a chocolate chip cookie. But, no, you know, yes, there is all these ingredients. Now, I know Cindy didn't go to Madagascar and, and, and process, make the vanilla, and she didn't go out to the salt mines. I don't know where you get baking soda from. Uh, and she didn't go to Kansas and mill all the, braise the wheat and make the flour. So she didn't do any of that, but I went and fetched it all from the store. But it reminded me that, you know, God has taken our entire world and it's put together with extreme precision. You know, the sun rises when the schedule says it's supposed to rise and it goes down and the stars are in their position in the skies at the same time every year, so so much that you, know, you can navigate by it. And yet there are people who think that, eh, this earth just kind of came together, just as much as these ingredients just kind of came together to make a cookie. But no, it took design. It took a recipe. You know, God said, let there be light, let there be earth, let there be plants, let there be animals, all of it in precision. And it, it's just, amazes me the people who still think that creation just kind of happened a long time. And so it just kind of came to mind that, you know, even though we don't create anything, to, so to speak, you know, authors create stories, you know, and they write down and create characters in their mind. And book cooks and bakers create a meal out of ingredients. You know, God created us and he created this world for us to enjoy. So that's what I wanted to tell the children. That, you know, when you see all this around you, it wasn't just happenstance, just accidentally coming together. It was with divine purpose and for a plan for it give us a place to, to live and worship him. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we just pray for all those who are lost and blind by the notions of evolution and things just happening and that uh, want to deny you because in doing so they can then live their lives without freedom or with freedom from supposed guilt and yet you've written the law on our hearts so everyone has a certain level of God's law written on us so we do have guilt and no amount of wishing it away with evolution will change that. Help us to be willing to share our faith and hope in you and the world you've created for us with others. In Jesus' name, amen. And we picked the first